Coming up on this episode of NSFW, we have the entire internet answer your questions. We also find out the big secret that Brett Amtrekker Rounceville has been hiding. And most importantly, I find out that my daddies don't love me. I hate you. Why do you have to be that way? NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 14 for March 2nd, 2010. Ask the Internet. There is a war coming. It shall not be a war of man. But it is man who shall spill his blood fighting it. For it concerns his very right to be free. And I, of all men, must win it. Abraham Lincoln. Bullet time. What? For the best-selling New York Times author of Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. It's got freaking Abe Lincoln kicking butt. (laughs) Comes the true history of our 16th president. (laughs) It's got... It's got Abraham Lincoln kicking the ass of a zombie. Oh no, I'm a vampire, sorry. I love that the only color in the video is blood. Color of blood, yes. Clearly they didn't have color during the Civil War era. Abraham Vampires. <laughs> vampire Hunter, yes! There's no way we can top that! That's already the best part of the show! Wait, he's gonna be ahead of him. I guess we can top that. I've Nicely done. Vampires for 50 years. Dude, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire and Hunter! That's how books get sold, people. That is how books get sold! That, of course, being the voice of Brett, aka the Amtrak around Seville. How are you doing, Brettsicle, man? Fantastic. Great to be back. Oh my goodness, dude. And you are finally going to unveil, like once and for all, you're actually going to tell the truth and actually let us know what your top secret project for the last months upon months has been. Is that not true, Mr. Brett? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yes, sir. All will be revealed. All right. Well, look, let's get this thing started. It is the new show full of win, the new sauce for the Webernets. It's NSFW. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined by my inimitable co host, Mr. Justin Robert Youngles. How are you doing, Justin? Well, I'm here in Rhode Island. I have uh, my Falconer's glove ready, and uh, we're gonna wrangle ourselves some answers to the internet's problems. Are you really? Are you really wearing a Falconer's glove? I mean, or, well, actually, I'm more curious if you're really in Rhode Island, because I've been telling everyone on the uh, on the missive I recorded for this week. I actually said uh, that you were on assignment in Boston, is what I told everyone. Well, I am. I mean, we were gonna do it in Boston, then we wound up doing it in uh, Rhode Island. But uh, you know, me and me and Obama are here <laughs> hanging out, and uh, you know, we're just gonna have a good time. I like to call this part of the show confusing the audio listeners. By the way, it's like literally, <laughs> I'm trying to pay attention, and then, and then like, because I'm seeing out of the corner of my eye, it just my brain tells me, oh my God, Barack Obama's in the frame with you. But that's not true. Yes. You're a big fat liar. Hey, no, no, he is. Look, look at him. Look Barack at him. Obama is significantly more floppy headed than I expected him to be in this real is life. This not political satire. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? That he's a bobblehead? I don't know. I don't know. But I certainly hope they <laughs> rom it through. Oh, that they rom it through? Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> uh, I've been reading the Drudge Report. All right, listen, we got a couple of things that are special about this episode. First and foremost, we are joined by the entire internet. Look at that. Hi, entire internet. Everybody wave to me, and it's going to take a while because there's a bit of a lag in the tiny chat. What we decided to do this time was actually have an entire jury. There they go. Now they slowly begin to awkwardly start waving one and two at a time until finally everybody... 
Brian, we don't need to treat them as they're live. For people who are just uh, tuning in, we have uh, 12 people. Uh, uh, sorry, Andrew Main is mooning me right now. Uh, this is why I have to watch <laughs> myself. Called, that's called being a professional, is that you, do, you just exactly. power through so it. Otherwise, Andrew Main will break in and moon you. And in fact, what you um, need to do is you need to act, actually like work in clever puns without ever cluing us in as to what Andrew's doing. Just work in clever puns like, oh, I'm over the moon on this episode. I've got only one eye for, for this target that we're headed towards and i don't yes. know what kind of pun is that why would you be talking about one single eye i don't know i don't know i think it's important that we explain what the oh, hell we're doing this episode it. here's here's what folks That's need to know weird. brian um there are 12 people right now in our locked and sealed jury box and uh well one of them is, oh my well, God. somebody we, somebody like, i'll tell you what people wanted us people wanted us to get a little more explicit wow. on the video first. congratulations <laughs> Uh, well, 12 people here, and we're going to – we have problems coming in from our audience. Brian, you recorded a missive. Of course, if you want to see those, uh, follow at Schwood or at NSFW Show or at Justin R. Young on Twitter. But uh, we're going to solve them. Me and, and you and Amtrekker, we're going to bring up possibilities, and then our jury is going to vote on them. Yes, and that indeed. that dolphin is apparently going to solve its own problem. And what's, and what's, well, what's funny <laughs> is, is, like, literally, there's somebody, we had a sleeper cell. One of our, one of our 12, uh, I guess one of our 12 jury, one of our 12 angry uh, men and or dudes, uh, and I'm actually, I keep clicking the ban on this one, and strangely enough, it won't go away. Somebody has figured out how to get around the ban hammer on this. Nice. So, and I, I, did you ever deal with that with the iTrix frequency? Because I know that you guys. Uh, oh yeah, no, definitely. We had to actually shut it down for a while because uh, because a certain website uh, whose name I dare not mention for fear of reprisal. Exactly. <laughs> uh, decided to find uh, found that uh, teasing fourteen to. 35-year-old magicians was a really fun thing to do. And uh, a really good way to do that was running a hermaphroditic porn. That's hilarious. Uh, by the way, the chat room is giving me such helpful responses as, why don't you just ban him? Why don't you ban the IP? And uh, they have tools built into Tiny Chat that does exactly that. But apparently somebody knows more about the tool than I do. And it's a little bit difficult to do a lot of problem solving when you are live and uh, describing. So those of you who are not Currently, so we, we're just we're just moving the box over. Now we have nine angry. We have men nine slash angry, women. but I know what's going on on the rest of the screen, and it'll be I'll be. This is my professional moment. You thought it was bad that Andrew Maine was mooning you. <laughs> 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 you have no idea <laughs> what I'm going to. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NSFW episode 14, hitting rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never. It's funny that you mention a uh, jury talking about Andrew mooning him because actually, jury's code moon actually has something more along the lines to do with fellatio and dolphins. That's it's the funny. weirdest thing. <laughs> Uh, by the way, the chat you thought he wasn't being clever, but he was. I, I totally believe it. In in fact, uh, okay, so let's do this. There's a couple of bit, bits of business I wanted to talk about before we actually get into our problem solver episode, where we are actually going to crowdsource real life problems of everyday people and have the entire internet fix it. It's a segment we are calling. Internet. Ask the internet, where we, the entire internet, <laughs> comes rushing to the uh, to the rescue in order to solve everyday problems. So what we did is we asked you guys to send in your problems, whether they be financial, whether they personal, whether they be any number of other things. By the way, the offending chat box in chat in tiny chat room right now is showing an adorable little kitten, and it's like I dare not oh, trust no. you. I dare oh, not no. trust you. Oh, but Ryan, I think we should trust him. I think we should give. Another chance. Oh, I think man. not, sir. I think not. I think uh, Is I know it better. just a little kitty? Who's a little kitty? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who's the little kitty? Ah, it's the end of my television career. <laughs> so before we get started, though, I got a letter, and you have no idea how excited I am to actually uh, share this with you guys. I'm actually going to read the entire letter. Uh, this is a genuine letter that comes from one of the original fans of the BB Live Show before there was NSFW. There was early experiments that we called the BB Live Show. This is the guy that did the original Photoshop of the toddler beating on the drum. Do you remember that, Justin? I do. Okay, I so this is an, a no lie, honest to goodness letter. I actually wrote him back twice to make sure it was uh, this was all completely true. And this is how it begins. Brian, 
I am a Peace Corps volunteer and recently did a year deployment to the Dominican Republic. The village where I lived was, by all classical definitions of the word, remote. No electricity, no plumbing, and all the water comes from a hand crank well. They grow their own crops and literally hunt their own dinner on a daily basis. Houses here are made from, by hand from mud brick and straw. The nearest established modern city, La Vega, is four hours away by auto. After my year, I'd grown quite close with many of the people of this community. It was one of the best experiences of my life. The community had a big gala celebration in my honor on my final night before leaving to come back to the States. During the course of the evening, I did an impromptu magic show made up mostly of things I learned watching Scam School, tweaking and changed to better fit my audience. Well, that was the plan anyhow. About six tricks in, I still hadn't gotten much of a response. I'd gotten a few smatterings of courtesy chuckles, but not much more than critic. Crickets, literally crickets. I was pretty sure I was not making any kind of cultural faux pas, so I took a moment and asked one of the elders why nobody seemed that interested in what, or entertained by what I was doing. His response? In broken English, he said, your tricks are very good, but we have seen them many times before on the internet. Most of us go to La Vega every few months. We always go to the library and use the computers. One of the children found a great American show called Scam School. Maybe you watch it too <laughs> when you get back to your home one day, be a much better magician. Really, God's honest truth, that happened. And an interesting side note, you might also be interested in knowing that many of the parents of the village tease their children into behaving and going to bed on time with mocking threats of being visited by El Diablo de Mano, the hand devil, a.k.a. Mr. Happy Pants. That's no <laughs> lie. That's the real deal. And then, uh, and then, yes, Brian, you are known and influencing culture in remote places of where even Survivor Man wouldn't go. Good job. I had to write and let you know. Thanks, by the way, NSF. Uh, congrats on NSFW and all that stuff. Um, and I, uh, I could not believe he he swears. I, I actually wrote him to say, dude, tell me this is true. And he said that story is 100% percent to true. Although I may have mangled the exact literal quote from the village elder. I mean, there I was in a place where they could have easily filmed Gilligan's Island, and I've got some local village elder basically telling me don't quit your day job kid you're no brushwood <laughs> <laughs> and he goes on to talk about how the whole uh, mano diablo thing was something that he had heard several times during his deployment there at the uh, at the uh, at the location and he never put it together until it was like a sixth sense moment when they exposed that uh, uh, that it was Mr. Happy Pants. Now, here's the thing. I called total BS on this, and the chat room is calling BS on this as well, and I totally would have believed them, but uh, the, he goes on to say, he says, actually, the village has... Yeah, he says the village, village does have some electricity via, via four diesel generators. And uh, basically the entertainment they get was they load up a iPod with entertainment, what the Peeps Corps does, and then that's what they show on, the, uh, on whatever little screen they have from time to time. He said during his time, he had loaded it up with a bunch of old black and white movies, but the previous person who had that job was actually was loading it up with Totally Rad Show and Scam School. So that was what they watched at the local uh, for their local entertainment as sort of a cultural. It was it was like a, to, to keep people from being culturally shell shell shocked to acclimate them to what people are actually into in the United States, which that was. Uh, Completely amazing. And the guy, the guy, we might be able to get him to call in if you guys don't believe. You have a look of complete disbelief, Justin Robert Young. No, I, I, I think it's true. I mean, why would somebody make that up? He did fail to mention that the village that he was helping out in was Fresno, California. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. <laughs> he yeah, by the mention. way, I, he, he failed to mention that uh, the village was, in fact, community service. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't so much the peace or as it was mandated by law. <laughs> by the way, we already got uh, we already got Robo Tracker. Robo Tracker, ladies Robo -tracker. and gentlemen, if you had 14 oh, minutes in your office pool for the first Robo Tracker, right off the top. By the way, I, I don't know room. if you know this, Brian. People do uh, bets uh, like they do the Super Bowl, and and the prop bet for Robo Tracker was uh, has finally come in. So there we go, folks. Yeah, no, it took about two seconds. By the way, chat room, as always, has what the was answer the to everything. They make everything happen for us. Uh, they actually pointed out that we could just do hide this camera on uh, on the offending party there. So now we actually have our complete... Uh, by the way, let me just say what mm -hmm. little... What little suggestive material did make it through visually was nowhere near as bad as where it went shortly afterwards. So I actually feel like we, describe did, it? we did pretty good. Um, and uh, okay, look, <laughs> I'm, I'm frozen. 
I, I'm getting from. Are you, are you frozen? frozen? From me? No, my, my camera, yeah. I'm not getting any new video from you. Oh, uh, well, I don't really know because everything it, it looks okay to you, right, Robotrekker? Hmm. Do you? Everything looks all right to you, Amtrekker? Uh, it was frozen for a bit, but I just closed your window and reopened it, and you were still moving. Ah, okay. Well, hopefully everything's fine now. Uh, okay, so the point is, the point is, that was the single most amazing letter I've ever received. I could not believe it. It completely made my life. It was absolutely unreal. And neither of you bastards seem to give a good goddamn. So there's that. <laughs> well, you know, that, you know, it's like, that's, that's awesome. That's really, 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 really cool. I, I think it's, you know, they, it, I, I believe it. I think it's true. <laughs> oh man, this is like this is the worst, man. It's like it's like I come home with an A plus on my paper, and I'm like, Dad, Dad, look, I got this A plus on the paper. And then and then my dad, Justin Robert Douche, is just like, mm, That's great, kid. Did you finish mowing the lawn? And I'm just like, No, no, but no, look, I, I worked so hard, I finally have made it. I kind of, I finally did some of one of my life goals. All right, all right, all right. Settle down. We'll put your A plus on the refrigerator next to the A you got last week. <laughs> Don't coddle him, Am Trekker. If you go doesn't learn that not everything we should throw a parade for he's gonna expect it his whole life oh man this is killing me by the way <laughs> a beer brian so many of the reasons I watch my stories the chat room is still calling it false and they're still they're still saying it's bs but the reason i Why, believe it is because cares? this guy what do you mean who cares that's super important <laughs> Whatever. Got... blah 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 i went to puerto rico and everybody loves you <laughs> let's all release the balloons I don't, you don't ever love me, daddy. <laughs> Jesus. Can we call this episode now? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NSMW episode number 13, Validation Parade. Oh, well, except for it's episode 14. But yes, we episode can do Episode 14, we... Validation Parade. All right, look, let's talk about Amtrekker's big thing. Maybe you can make him feel small and worthless the way you do me, Justin. Oh, wait, can we, can we get into the, the, the problems since we're already a quarter of the way through the show? No, because... Yeah, oh. let's do some problems. All right. We'll yeah. do some problems. All right, no let's problem. do some problems. Okay, got... we'll, get to, we'll get to Amtrekker. All right, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. Do your first problem. What do you got? Well, I didn't know I had to pull him up. I thought you had him You're up. You're the one who's asking uh, to go into the problems. I'm still, I'm still, not, getting, I'm still not getting any video from you. Okay. Go mow the lawn. <laughs> go mow the lawn. Get me a martini. Make sure you put more vermouth in it next time. All right, let's do this. We'll start. Neat this time. Neat. I... I ask you. Uh, <laughs> By the way, my favorite you, thing. Uh, I'm going to do the chat up just single one. Is that Okay. okay. All right. Well, we got a phone number on this one. Ah, I didn't want to start with this one because it's so silly and I don't believe it. But all uh, right, actually... then there we go. Now, now who's the one who's shutting down <laughs> options? No, right? no, that's not. Oh that's not... no, please, Justin. Why don't you get a problem? Oh wait, that problem? No, 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 no. <laughs> I right, don't care enough. what's for dinner. That's... We can eat anything for dinner. How about Taco Bell? I hate Taco Bell. <laughs> This is like we've become like this terrible dysfunctional family where nobody gets along. <laughs> Whatever happened to the good days when everybody got along? You guys stop fighting now. Brian, I think it was very nice that you got recognized half a world away. And Trekker, we're very proud of your new site. Justin, you're just an a-hole. Like, oh, why, why, why don't I get something nice said about me? Oh, you want your own little validation parade now, do you? <laughs> Everybody else is getting what I feel left out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, I'm going to try. This problem to... comes from Susan Neal. Susan Neal, right? Uh -huh. I have a roommate who's an inconsiderate slob. Hey, God, I was going to call the one that you wanted. Uh, do you want me to call that one? No. No? You don't? No, call Susan Neal. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if Susan, uh, the person's watching. So the Susan Neal one, please uh, send us your... Your what's it called? The, the, phone the phone number, right. Yeah, no, okay, look, we're going to do this one first. This is a very unusual problem, and I hope it doesn't set the tone for the rest of the show. We're actually going to call uh, Hawklu. No, I, I thought we were not doing that. Well, look, no, I acquiesced. <laughs> I, I bent to your No, will. I was reading another one, and then you stopped me to go back to the one you no, I'm calling, to do. Hang on, Hawklu, are you on the line? <laughs> hey, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta introduce the, the, the hold on. Hawklu's on the line. <laughs> 
the internet. All right, it is time to ask the internet. Hawklu, you have a rather unusual <laughs> problem with my new stage manager, <laughs> manager Chad Johnson. Would you like to tell us about the about about your problem, Hawklu? Well, yeah. Basically, for the past five years, I've been writing this erotica named. The story of it is called Chad Johnson Year One. Chad and Johnson behold, Year One. I okay, ha ha clue. If, show, if you don't mind me asking, what what kind of uh, erotica is it? Is it uh, you know M four F M four M? Oh, multiples? it's the range. You got M F F F uh, incest, uh, <laughs> all the whole ra bondage. Okay, um, so right, so yeah, uh, try yeah. to explain in as clean of a way as you possibly can uh, a situation in which you put Chad Johnson. Well, he's the main protagonist of my story, and in it, he's a the my Chad Johnson is a 15 year old former uh, government assassin. F and 15 year old gets out. and a government assassin. Okay, right. Yeah. <clears throat> Look, yeah, uh, I, and I, he basically is just how he's been with the government for his whole life and now he's out and he goes to high school and he's trying to fit in and of course he has sex with everyone so <laughs> okay yeah, give me just, just real quick just real quick give me give me a, a sexy situation a very, no very no no you cannot justin what are you doing what are Briefly. you doing and clean what are you Be doing clean. Be clean. No. i have a hawk a hawk falconer's glove i know you do i know you do look we already know what happens he gets busy no, and, uh, no we don't no this is like oh no please we're spearing into interesting territory Jam on the brakes immediately. No, listen, we're not going to go through a describe play-by-play -play or a pornographic no, clip just, from all a... right, so he's going in, uh, he's, he's going out for the lacrosse team, and maybe he has to, you know, convince the coach or something like that? A water polo, but uh, actually the story <laughs> is linked... The story is linked under the Chad Johnson entry in the bblogshow.info. All oh, right, well, we don't, we don't need that. In the BBpedia, so, see? People can find it. They can read it for themselves if they go to the BBpedia, all right? I'm just trying to yes. paint a picture here, Okay, Brian. we've got the picture. Uh, it is, uh, the only thing you're doing is you're moving from regular resolution to high def, and that's what we don't need. We do not need a high definition uh, picture. We oh, I don't want any kind of naughty, filthy words that'll be for bad boys. <laughs> I just want to hear a general thought kind of thing. All right, you know what? Well, you could go read them yourself at the page. But All none right, of this has whatever, to do with the party problem. pooper. None of this has to do with the problem. The problem is what? The problem is now that when I try to bring up the image of my Chad Johnson, I keep on getting your manservant, Chad Johnson. Out. I like OMG that. I like Chad. the fact that you call my manservant. You're talking about our OMG Chad, right? Yeah. <laughs> it keeps on. I mean, his image keeps on popping in my head, and okay. sort of taking a large caliber bullet to my temple. I don't know how to get it out. So the question is, the problem that we're here to solve, Justin Robert Young, is is not yes. you know what is what is the the literature look like. It is how does he deal with purging himself as of this image? What do you got? Well, personally, I don't know, just just to defend myself, I think you know what the literature is bears a lot to, to do with with this problem because if it were just him writing a story, you know, of of a young government assassin that is now. Uh, going back through high school, then it'd be different than the young government assassin who's going back through high school and is banging literally everybody on campus. Because, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's a different kind of consequence. But uh, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss for this so far. Uh, Amtrekker, what do you think? Actually, Amtrekker had technical difficulties. He went robotic and uh, either, or either he had technical difficulties and is about to call us back or his good sense got the better of him and he got the hell out of here before things got too dark. But uh, but it's it's just you and now me why here. is it dark? Listen, writing erotica is a healthy activity. You know, it shows creativity and uh, a, a, a in touch wellspring of your own passionate, uh, you know, innards. I think uh, yeah, I think it's good. It's fine. All right. So what? You, I, here's the problem: is that I assume that the current image you have of of our Chad Johnson is incompatible with the stories, right? That's what's confusing things for you. Is that what's going on? Kind of, because mine has blue eyes and long straight hair, and but your Chad is kind of. Yeah, he's just a tad bit nerdier than the one I have. In my mind. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think all right. I got the exact solution here. I I, I have okay. a solution as well. And uh, uh, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Uh, I can go first. Okay, go. Here's what you need to do. Like any piece of ongoing 
uh, literature or any kind of creative project, sometimes your story evolves beyond where you thought it might go. I believe that you need to evolve your story to make your Chad Johnson the Chad Johnson who helps out with Brian. You know what? All of a sudden, you need to go on a mission with you Brian Brushwood. He's got to change okay. his hair no, and no, get in no, 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 uh, no. He has to be a little nerdier. But that would be my solution. Okay. What, what's funny is like I don't have any I, MM, but I could put that in maybe. I thought I thought that we were on the same page here because I thinking, yeah, the story evolves and his Chad Johnson changes his name to like a different name so he doesn't no, think of Chad no, Johnson no, no. with it. I want to really too. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I want them to come right back together where you are sharing very awkward car rides Maybe with Chad Johnson on the road <laughs> from one college to another. Maybe, like, all of a sudden he starts writing this whole story where it's like, you have to go undercover for over a year. We need you to be thinner, wirier, <laughs> nerdier. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. That's what I think. Now, what what would your solution? Be? Uh, well, no, mine was mine was to have his character change his name, and so he thinks of somebody else. But you're saying actually make his Chad Johnson into my Chad Johnson. Yes. Let's take it to the jury. <laughs> jury uh, is very much on the side of J R Y uh, Justin Robert Young. We've got about half of them weighing in right now. We're waiting on the rest of them to put it up. So far, I think we have one hundred. Percent. One person just says no. Yes! The Falconer wins! Oh, my God. You guys are killing me. Everybody agrees. All right, there's your solution. I hope that works so, out I, for you. Would it be okay to write you into the story, then? Um, uh, okay with who? I you know? I think it's a necessity. You can't have this reality unless Brian's a part of it, right? Yeah, uh, you know what? The only thing that would be even more flattering is if the story took place in the Dominican Republic and that uh, everyone was afraid of <laughs> Mr. Happy Pants. Oh, I, work oh. it in any way you can, Glory Hog. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the hero of the Dominican Republic. Throw me a parade. Aye, aye. All right, listen. Uh, thank you very much for your call. Uh, take care and best of luck with the future adventures of Chad Johnson. I think we uh, I think we, we solved that, right? I think we solved the problem. Do me a favor, Brian. Can you stop sending me video and then send it to me again? Because I still can't see anything. Oh, stop sending. Oh, you still can't see anything that I'm sending no, you at this moment. No, still frozen. Oh, you know, I see what you're talking about right there. That's awfully weird. Let me stop the video and then I'll start it again. And hopefully, not only will this video start back up, but hopefully also Amtrekker will call back because he still hasn't called back even though I've been looking for him on the Uva. Oh, no, there he is. Actually, Maybe I could give him a call and get him back in here. Maybe we can get him to weigh in after the fact on that. You know, Brian, I, I wish you would have let me talk a little bit more about what, what Hal Clue had in his story because, as he said later, there is no gay sex in this, in this erotica, you know? And now he would have to write it in if... You, if, if the Chad Johnson whoa, that whoa, we whoa, know and love he just is written to know if I would story, be in he's it, traveling around I'm... with you. If I would have known that, maybe I wouldn't have gone with that solution. But unfortunately, we did not get a full layout of all the facts. Oh, my God. You're killing me. You're killing me. Absolutely killing me. All right, joining us. By the way, just... do you want to hear the lineup for Dancing with the Stars? Do you, do you, did you just get the lineup for Dancing with the Stars? Is this breaking news or is this is this? Just going to say that, yeah, we're, we're scooping uh, ABC for everybody. Really? Uh, is this Pamela true? Pamela Anderson. Chad Ochocinco, Aiden Turner, Aaron Andrews, Sharon Doherty, Buzz Aldrin, Nisi Nash, Nicole Scherzinger, Evan Lysak, and Kate Goslin. Okay, now uh, and some dude from The Bachelor. Is, it, is this really one of our inside sources? Are we really tipping this before ABC does? I don't know. Maybe. How about we move on and not talk about it? No, oh my God! That was just a hold on. Wait, just talk about bearing the lead. You're busy wanting to hear descriptions of the of the of the erotica of Chad Johnson. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's you're sitting secret. on a gold mine. It's a secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. Tune in that this just, season to Dancing with the Stars. It's a secret that you just made a point out of saying right now, live on the air, even though we're it had nothing to do with what we were talking about. No, this is all just hearsay. Okay, well, the hearsay is Chad Ochocinco, Pamela Anderson, Buzz Aldrin. He was on the moon, you know. What he else? was. He was. He was on the moon. Are you going to get somebody in trouble? That's intense. All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully someone isn't really mad at me. All right. <laughs> All right. What's the next one you wanted to go with? You had another one that you liked, right? Uh, yeah, well, there was one I was going to read. Uh, well, there's uh, one. By the way, can I, can I get credit? Um, can I get credit like I was a magician bringing magic to the Dominican Republic for picking out that good email? That went well. 
Uh, I think we really solved a problem. Uh, it, it, it was interesting. I think we did solve a problem. You know what? You're right. Actually, that was the purpose of this episode is we're going to solve problems. And we most certainly did solve that problem. And yeah. uh, I say we called the very next person when this is somebody who's having trouble with their roommate. It's at the top of the list. If you take a look at it there, Justin, you see the one okay. I'm talking about? Yes, yes. There we go. All right. I have. Wait Up for it. Call. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, I'm still not getting video. Hello? Hello? It's the internet. Hello, it's the internet calling. We're here to solve your problems with your roommate. Oh, great. Awesome. Is this Susan? Yes. Hi, Susie. How are you doing, sweetie pie? I'm good. Are you wearing a falconer's glove? <laughs> Am I wearing a falconer's glove? No, this is my first time watching this. Well, all right. I well, next time, hey, listen, you're allowed. Next time, just don't disappoint me, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> you have a problem with your roommate. Yeah. Can you please talk about it in as graphic detail as oh, possible? Oh, we see again. You're stuck with the graphic <laughs> theme. Yeah. Well, she's a complete slob. She's smelly. She's dirty. And she's inconsiderate. Do you want me to go into detail? Like if you, you were to ex email? describe to me how she smells, like what kind of smells go into her <laughs> very well, rank? Well, it's not well I, don't, I just can't describe it. It's not like a specific smell. <laughs> but like, I walk into the room and I find skin marked underwear like right ah, in front of my bed. Oh! Oh, wow. Again. So you would say it's more like a hot garbage and not an unwashed whale. <laughs> not an unwashed yes. killer whale. Yeah. Exactly. So what's what's your problem uh, yeah. exactly? Like, what is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to accomplish? Well, after three years of living in this condition and basically letting her walk all over me, I want to get even in the best way possible. So you are you adopting a scorched earth policy here? Like you don't mind just totally destroying this relationship as long as you can get even. At this point, you're giving up any opportunity for this to actually be salvageable and the two of you to be happy together. Right. I mean, three years is enough. Wow. Well, it sounds like you made your decision. So now what? You're just asking for ideas for really nasty things to do to your sister? I mean, <laughs> your, your roommate? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess. I mean, she's done some pretty nasty things to me and... <laughs> Well, see, you're still justifying. Yeah. You're still justifying yourself back to back to her. I mean, it's like we get it. It's like you want to take somebody down and you want the inside sauce on, on how to make trouble for her, right? Is that right? why you call? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Justin, do you have any experience in this regard? Uh, I have never been in a position where I've had to get back at a roommate. Um, but I would say, I mean, the, the best ways to do it would probably be um, – I mean, public humiliation is always good. What you want to avoid are things that I like to call cop calling offenses. So, you know, <laughs> destruction of property, uh, that kind of stuff. You want to stay away from. What you want to do is something so stinging and so nasty that one of two outcomes happens. Either A, you get the sort of like, ugh, that's just too good kind of reaction from, from the uh, aggrieved party. Or B, Wait, no, 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 it no, is no, just no. such a stinging that reputation uh, that there's really nothing. Once you've let that genie out of the bottle, there's no way. It can does come that back. ever happen though? Does that, does somebody ever, ever just be like, you know, it's like they walk in and their entire room is saturated in, in, in all manner of disgusting stuff that I'm not going to go into, no matter how much you want it, dad, uh, Justin, uh, the, <laughs> but, uh, but it's like, does anyone walk in and their room is just ruined and they're like, oh, you really did get me there. Well, no, that's the point is that you don't ruin their room, Bri, you know, cause that's destruction of property. All of a sudden you're on the hook for whatever you've destroyed. However, if all of a sudden there, you know, we're, were some, uh, you know, kind of whisper campaign going around that couldn't get back to you. Uh, you know, maybe uh, at the end of the day, you can all laugh about it at your 10-year reunion. All right, now, none of this is terribly <laughs> helpful. You've got, to, you've got to be specific here. Like, what is it? We, well, we have two no, you bring, Why don't you bring them some, some solutions? Or, or why don't we go down to the Dominican Republic and maybe they can tell <laughs> us? <laughs> no, I mean, she wants, she wants the two of us to propose... A, a nasty thing to do to a roommate and and then have the internet choose which is the better one to do and i'm i'm actually pretty dry on this i'm a nice guy who always takes care of everyone never have done anything terribly mean what is the meanest thing i've ever done um how about not sending me video uh what well, dude i already i already at this point the only way to get you video is to drop the call and call you back if you want to do that we can do that but that's a little no awkward. no no all right all right sorry um <laughs> then, uh, well here then you got to channel your 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 inner evil should and figure something out here i mean you know what's funny it's like even the even the pranks that we do on scam school 
are really kind of like G, G Willikers. You, you sure got me that kind. They're, they're exactly the kind you were talking about where it's like, wow, you got me that time. But uh, man, I don't know. It's I, I would think I, I, I got to defer actually to the chat room. I'm going to ask the chat room to bail me out because I actually don't know too many terribly <laughs> evil things to do. Uh, and then if you want, we could choose our champions from the chat room. But uh, wait, wait. well, no, no, no. The jury's got to be the jury. I, I'm taking a. Um, You're taking. You know, you hear people are saying uh, Jack Tall saying post nude pictures of the roommate on the internet as revenge. I mean, number one, if uh, she's inspiring the kind of uh, stink that is being described, I don't know <laughs> if the internet really wants to see it. Um, all right, I tell you what, you know, Amtrekker just joined us back. Amtrekker, right now, uh, what would you say? I don't know how much you heard of what just of just what went on. What would you say is the best revenge against an evil roommate, the devil incarnate I heard, himself? I heard enough to know that if we've learned anything from both this show and the BB Live show, and specifically BS or Secrets, we've learned that the only reconciliation available to her is to smother her roommate's vibrator and hot sauce. Oh, my God. Oh, you know, no, come on. on. Come, come on. on. If, I, if I'm not allowed to ask what's in the erotica, then Amtrekker yeah. should not be allowed to say that. It was, it was like Amtrekker hey. was out of the room. And what's funny is I saw that in the chat room, and I'm just like, oh, I was like, oh, that's a good one, but I can't possibly say that on the show. And in walks Amtrekker. Walk oh, my God. All right, here. Thing. I got it. I got it. Somebody, somebody put it in the chat room, and I can't see who it was. Um but apparently, if this girl has is leaving skid marked underwear Ugh. in public parts of the house, take a picture of that and just post it everywhere that she goes. That way, you don't you don't identify that it's her. She knows, and it's just everywhere you could be, everywhere you could be, everywhere she knows she's gonna see it. There's a picture of her skid marked underwear. All right, now before we go any farther, though. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Mayne just got a devilish look on his face and he's furiously writing. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I call dibsies on whatever Andrew is about to hand you. How about that? All right. All right. So you'll get Andrew's suggestion no oh matter what. Oh my god. All of a sudden I, I, I don't even know this. if he knows I all, what the situation is. I, I all of a sudden I'm very <laughs> regretful because <laughs> Andrew is handing over. <laughs> uh, he's suggesting a variation on what I said. Except uh, that you take that skid marked underwear oh. and list it on Craigslist with her email. Okay, that's mine. <laughs> that's mine. I, I think contrary to that, you should clean her underwear for her with her toothbrush. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, come oh, on. Oh. What is this? I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> come on. You guys are killing me. Okay, look. Uh, listen, uh, chat room, uh, first of all, uh, uh, Kalecki, you got you to gotta take that picture away. That's not helping us at all. But uh, I'm, I'm going to, oh, my gosh, it, it appears that clearly... I don't know. Let's see. We got uh, we got somebody just saying yes apparently to all of them. Uh, we've got <laughs> we've got we've got at least two for Schwood, three for Schwood, uh, three for Amtrekker, one for the uh -huh. Falconer. Um, I'm waiting on a tiebreaker here. I'm waiting on a tiebreaker to come up. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> Let's see what the dolphin thinks. <laughs> yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you, sir? This will be the first time we ever need to actually blur out something on the video podcast. <laughs> uh, I, um, I guess we're... Uh, I, do, I just want for that part of the episode, if they can, I don't know if we, if we can play even just a little bit of that live song, The Dolphins Cry, just while that's happening. Oh, my God. <laughs> blurred out. <laughs> okay, look, I think Amtrekker actually just won right over there. Somebody put Amtrek up, Lucky Dig. Uh, so I guess you it's Amtrekker. Pull the big guns, kids. It's Amtrekker for the win. We have solved your problem. Congratulations. And you're Thank welcome. You. Yes, the internet. All right, the internet has your problems. Do we have anything else on deck there, Mr. Justin Robert Youngification, the first? Oh, of course. Listen, we get problems in all the time, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, if you ever want to send us your problems, just even if we're not doing it as a bit, NSFW show at gmail.com where you can uh, yeah, keep We won't actually us, answer your favorite show problem, on the internet. But we just really love to read about other people's problems. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you, Amtrek. Just come waltzing in with that talk. I can't. Shame on you. In this house, sir. It had to be done. All right. Someone had to pull uh, out the big guns. You can't pussyfoot around in those situations. All right. Movie right, all right. Along. This is This is one of those that I like to call I haven't read yet. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, what's the name of it? <laughs> can you give me a hint as to where it is? Uh, it is it, it, the title of the email is Ask the Interwebs. Okay. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, um, waffles wrote this in. <laughs> 
<laughs> Waffles writes. Oh, yeah, you know what? Dear NSFW show. Okay, I'll be a little bit more in depth. She went into radio silence for almost a year. And now, oh, here, hold on. It's this interesting girl issues. It has to do with her ex and her father. Yeah, do, do, you, want, said, do you want to call him or do you want to read what he, what he wrote so far? Do I know what? Oh, wait, hold on. He didn't. Yeah, call him. He did. Call, he call, did. Call. I, do have the, I do have the number. So we're going to call Waffles. Waffles. This will be the first call time. Waffles. We've seen Waffles has Waffles. participated in the chat for a long time. So this will be the first time we actually get Waffles on the air. It'll be interesting. Wait for it. Awkward. Internet. Hello, Waffles. It's the entire internet here to solve your issues. How are you doing today, sir? Pretty good. Um, I was just kind of shocked at the uh, lag between the live streams. Uh, okay. Was well, that really what your issue is, or do you have an issue that the internet no, can no, no, solve no. for you? The issue <laughs> itself is actually quite interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's hear it. Go. Is it interesting I'm, enough to be gloved by a falconer's glove? Oh, come on. With you and your falconer's <laughs> glove. Come on. Jerry. All right, Waffles, okay. spill it. What do you got? So what happened was I was dating this girl, um, very attractive, and then said, no, Jerry, I'm not going into detail. Um, and what happened was... I wish I had my boo this man. <laughs> go, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, Now you're just interrupting please, please. the caller. Keep, keep going. Keep going, Waffles. <laughs> so um, <laughs> and her, dad, her dad was pretty much a douchebag and made her in the relationship. And either because she was making her or it was a coping mechanism. She did not talk to me for literally about a year. Yesterday, I get a Facebook um, friend request from her, and we've been talking pretty much all day, and um, I do not want to fall for her again because I literally, while I would like to date her, I cannot put up with her freaking father. So so her, her and, father oh, is, a, hey, is, a deal, hey, is a deal killer, right? Pretty much. And, and um, Is that oh, a deal hey, breaker, really Waffles? Is, you... You want a better <laughs> chat room? That's, that's the best I got. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. Oh, don't no, respond to the I'm chat sorry. room. Don't I'm respond sorry. to those I apologize. Guys. Uh, call them off, chat room. Listen here, Waffles. Let me ask you this. Does the lady live with her, with her daddy? Yes. Okay, so she lives with her dad, and uh, obviously, if they date long-term, dad's going to be a part of the picture. And how, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you dig this girl? She was pretty awesome, and um, something that I haven't mentioned is that she was probably their family as a whole was probably uh, top three richest families in the city that I live in. Oh! Whoa! And now it's on. Okay, all right. So that came out there. Um, does that does that <laughs> matter at all? By the way, chat room has some interesting variations on uh, Amtrekker's earlier solution for this regarding his uh, her dad. Um, <laughs> um, also, he forgot to mention that the city where his family was the top three richest is the same city where they watched Brian Brushwood's scam school on the oh, come on. <laughs> come diesel come on. Yes, Literally, they are hundred heirs. <laughs> <laughs> They're hundred heirs. Oh, oh. By the way, before the episode's over, I hope uh, I hope uh, I think it was uh, uh, sodium sodium pentothal. Where I forget the name of the uh, the guy's name, but uh, but call in. You have you've got my number. You remember the number, and we'll verify that it's real. All right. Well, look. Waffles, how much does the money matter to you on a scale of 1 to 10? Not at all. Okay, how much does the chick matter to you on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, ooh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Like, the thing is... But though, it doesn't matter. You wasted sorry. too much time. You have to vote nay now. You're marrying the family, too. If you can't come off with a 10 right away, it's over. Wow. Wow. No, well, no, that, no, no, no. That's and then, not the thing, though. you know I'm, what you do I to the thing that... Awful. Never mind. No, I, I'm sorry. I guess I didn't explain it right. I don't want to fall for her again, but I want to be friends with her. I want her. Da, to be boo this man! No. Now I'm with you. Now I'm like, boo yeah, this no, man. I'm sorry. That's 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 ridiculous. All right, look. This listen, is listen, kiddo. Waffles. If you think that you can be friends with this girl, then you're dumber than that Dominican town that worships Brian. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on. <laughs> you realize that they may watch this show, and I'm not cool with that. That I mean, I'm cool with watching Good. the show. Bring it. Oh, you're terrible. Smell the glove. It's <laughs> my new album. Oh, my God. All right, listen, Waffles. Here, here's the thing. The truth is, if you're not interested in date, dating the girl, uh, the friendship thing ain't going to happen. You've, you, uh, you harbor too much rage against her father. You also seem to harbor some kind of latent attraction to her that the only reason you're, you're blocking is because you have such rage for her father. Uh, if, if, if you just want to be friends, I don't see that going anywhere except for confusing stuff. Later, I say 
walk away clean. That's what I say. That's mine. What do you got, Justin? Uh, I think that not only that you should walk away, but you should also commission uh, Hocklu to write some erotic fiction where the daughter is banging the father. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and and Amtrekker, you had some revenge uh, plans? No, no, no. I just think that walking isn't nearly as fast as running. Okay. So, that's, <laughs> so your choice is walk away. That's Brian's. Your second choice is, <laughs> what was it? Walk away and have erotic fiction written about her. <laughs> yeah, oh, and by the way, Hawklu in the chat room has already confirmed that 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 can be that can be done. Okay, good. <laughs> and, and then there's third, then there's air trackers, which is don't walk, run, or better yet, take a a, a turbo jet. Right? Is that was is that what we had? As fast yeah, as possible. Stay away from the hot sauce. That's just rude, people. All right, here don't we go. <laughs> by the way, what I love out of all of the responses we're getting from the chat room, I uh, was seeing a lot of juries, seeing a couple of schwoods, seeing one that just shouts "boo this man," GTFO. <laughs> 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 and my favorite is we've got one that says BB Amtrek and jury, so we're all right. And then we've got this guy uh, wearing the Burger King mask, holding up a copy of my book, The Professional's Guide to Fire Eating, which I don't know exactly what that means. And then apparently off screen, we have a dolphin saying, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, so there's your answer, Waffle. Uh, as given by the internet, enjoy. The internet. The internet has spoken. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, did we actually even get a solution there? Yes, the solution was walk away. <laughs> okay. We all agree. We got to, uh, maybe my daughter can explain it to you. I thought the solution had something to do with erotica. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's that's what. Oh, the story by the is. way, uh, Jack Tal in the chat room says that they call him Fapper. Fapper. Oh my God! Would you stop that? Oh, oh, it's just going downhill so fast, <laughs> and you just don't even care. You're sitting there with your Barack Obama cutout and your Falconer's glove, giggling like a schoolgirl as you light fire to this house I worked so hard to make inroads to make happen. What do you? Carl just, in the chat room earlier said that this is the episode that finally jumped the dolphin. <laughs> Stop! You guys, it's killing me. Oh, all right. Listen, all right. Take care, Waffles. That's what we got. Look, do we have time for one more problem, or can we find out about Amtrekker's amazing new project? I think we have no, time no, for let, one let, more. Let's find out about Amtrekker's thing, and then we'll do a, a final, uh, a final sign off. Amtrekker, uh, multiple times, twice you've come on this show and teased some amazing badass new super tentaculous. I said tentaculous. That's a new word I just wrote. I copyrighted that uh, new project, but you've never told us what it is. What is the project? Am Trekker. I am the project, sir, and I am the greatest employee in the world. <laughs> the, li <laughs> the link is in the chat room, guys. It's uh, it's <laughs> greatestemployeeintheworld.com, and I'm holding a worldwide contest where any company on the planet can compete to employ me. Uh, dude, this is beautiful. So what you're doing is you're taking the, the same format, the, like a really good job, the Murphy Good thing that blew up in their faces mm -hmm. with Martin Sargent, and uh, the same thing that um, uh, uh, what was the best job in the world in, in Australia, yeah. in the Great Barrier Reef. Is that what it was? Yes, sir. Yeah, and Except you're doing the they... same thing. Oh, yes. go ahead. Go ahead. Explain away. No, no, no. I've explained away like you're three flipping times it on its I've been head. all over the news. It's been crazy. I know. You have. You just got up. Like, literally, when I called you earlier, like, I'm sorry, Brian. I'm busy. I was just talking to CBS. I'm sorry, dude. Was there something you wanted? <laughs> Is there some show on the internet you'd like me to appear on? I can squeeze you in between the hours of 7 and 8 this evening if you really have something important to say. Oh, by but, the way, uh, chat room that. saying that greatestemployeeintheworld.com is a little bit crashed. That's what you get, dude. Crazy. You got NSF dubbed, bitch. Yeah, you got, <laughs> you, got, you got NSF dubbed. I love it. Yeah, it does. It says service temporarily unavailable. Let me show you what. Let me let me rub it in your face. There you go. Service temporarily unavailable. Yeah, totally not rubbing anything. Put that on your face. resume. <laughs> the, the greatest employee in the world. <laughs> <laughs> if that is your real name. <laughs> It's, it's yeah. not how about how about name. how about you how, how about you take the new job of bringing actual entertainment down to the Dominican Republic? <laughs> <laughs> by the way, the uh, uh, by the way, keep in mind. Uh, look, if your story gets, we were going to do a dig bomb, and we we're going to try to get this on the front page of Dig. But if you're already crashing under the pressure of CBS, I mean, yeah, this is uh, what's well. What's, um, 
Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say it's it's a little bit delicious to see how you're <laughs> maintaining your composure because you're live on the air. But meanwhile, I can tell <laughs> in your mind, you're like, that's my site. That's my site that's going to take me to the next level. That's what everyone's going <laughs> to. And it crashes. Those guys at the service hosting, site, they told me it was going to run. They told me this would happen. Can I make a guess? 99.9% .9 uptime. <gasps> <laughs> By the way, uh, I was going to make a guess that you're not being hosted by Squarespace. Is that right? I am not. No. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Squarespace, they've got the goods. But it's uh, greatestemployeeintheworld.com. And so basically, uh, you're, you're essentially taking the same kind of journey that you did with the Amtrekker series, and you're bringing it to where other people compete for your attention uh, for the possibility of actually hiring you. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm actually really stoked about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun because it's a total win, win, win situation. Like the people that enter the contest will get all this free exposure. If they don't win, it doesn't matter. They still got noticed. The people that do win get this whole, uh, buzzed up social media extravaganza where I am like an embedded dirty job slash am trekker in their employ for six months. And I get to do something fun and get paid to do it for half a year. Well, that's awesome, dude. And so, and obviously the response early on has been super positive, right? Yeah, it's been awesome so far. I really hope it keeps going strong. That's awesome. And uh, we will be doing a digging extravaganza with the CBS folks tomorrow. So uh, I'll let everyone know via Twitter. So just follow uh, at G-E-I-T-W. Awesome. All right, look, we got time for one more, Justin? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can definitely find one. Do we, we don't, I don't know. People in the chat room are, are clamoring for, do we have a sponsor this week? Uh, no, 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 no. This, this week where uh, we are sponsor free, which is, uh, perhaps a good thing given the dark places <laughs> that it went this, this particular episode. Don't know that I want a particular brand associated with this level of honesty here on NSFW. <laughs> so, uh, uh what do you, what all do you right, have? All right, here, let's find, let's find one, uh, uh, we have a we have a quick one. I don't know here. If if somebody wants to send in on the last minute down to the wire problem, please feel free to do it. At NSFW show gmail dot com. Uh, we can do a real quick round the horn one. Uh, hey NSFW show crew, uh, my problem is that I uh, should I study for my Japanese test tomorrow. I would like to watch your show, dear sweet internet. What should I do? Although I guess that that's kind of that that decision's already been made. Either he's studying and he's not watching, or he's he's checking the glove out right now and he's gonna have a hard time on his kanichi was. You're all you're always all about that glove, man. You're driving me crazy. By the way, somebody's actually calling in live from Skype. We'll see. This is a dangerous proposition. Hey, caller, dude, you're on the air. What's up? I'm currently sitting in a Burger King costume. And I wanted to know if I pay Pal you ten dollars, will you make me some portions? Uh, will you make him some? Oh, wait, you're the guy in the uh, the the Burger King costume holding up the fire eating book, and you're actually propositioning me to to make your torches for you. Yes. All right. Look. First of all, wrong time, wrong place, wrong <laughs> question. You need to make your own. You need to make your own torches. All right. That's the solution right there. Who do you think you are? Some <laughs> remote village in the Dominican? Uh, <laughs> come on, dude. You know I only played to the to the real deal out there. All right. So so uh, the decision. I mean, I guess you're right. The decision has been made. Obviously, she's watching the show instead of studying her Japanese. Uh, you got anything else? Anything else in the till? I say we call this thing. Uh, yeah, no, I think, uh, you know, unless we can get something in right at the last minute, we have the one, we have the giggle yeah, loop one. We do have loop. one, we do have one who has a problem. A friend of his spends all his time talking to teenage boys on the internet sent, uh, from Andrew <laughs> Maine, which, which I can only assume is in <laughs> reference to you and your Falconer's glove, Mr. Justin Robert Young. Listen, uh, when you have a Falconer's glove like this, then maybe, uh, you know, you and Andrew could be able to understand. All right, right look, I, I don't know about you guys, but the important thing to me is that we've made a difference in the lives of a few people who had problems, and the Internet was able to come together as an entire group and actually make stuff happen. By the way, a lot of people, big fans of Jury, uh, Liam, L-I-A-M-M, -M, repeatedly keep... Uh, keep doing it. By the way, Colleen sends in, hey, Scam School Brian, I have this problem. You see, I have this website that I really need to stay online, but I can't seem to grasp scaling. What should I do? <laughs> uh, man, you got a suggestion on that, Amtrigger? 
I don't know. Let me uh, ponder that for another. Okay, wait, months. hold on. Can we actually just crack open that that nut real quick and just get the uh, the actual fury that you're feeling right now? Like, yeah. like, what is the mix of anger versus embarrassment for you? You know, <laughs> you know what I've got over everyone else on the planet, thriving in <laughs> chaos. <laughs> I am completely cool right now. I'll go fix it afterwards. Not a problem. Well, but that's good. But the, but you know, most of the most of this is asynchronous. They listen to it later on. But uh, look, that's awesome. Uh, by the way, in the chat room, they're saying, I've got a problem. I can't think of a question to ask NSFW. I do have one <laughs> thing I wanted to plug, a really big thing that we that just got announced today. We're doing this gigantic Pi Day magic trick. We're actually working with Dan Rollman from the Universal <laughs> Records Database to, uh, why are you laughing? Pie. Why are you laughing about Pi Day? Uh, I'm just saying that uh, uh, we, we do have a sponsor, actually. Uh, this Dominican God brought to you by GTFO Meeting. <laughs> oh, I got you. Uh, so, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, so I'm working with Dan Rollman at the Universal Records Database, and we're pretty sure this is going to be the world record for the largest magic trick performed over Twitter on Pi Day, which is 314, which is, I'm sure, take takes place technically at, you know, one, five, nine o'clock. Uh, but uh, we're actually, I teamed up with a mathematician out of Cambridge University. You know who lives at Cambridge University? You know who works at Cambridge? No. Stephen, Faraday from Lost? Stephen Hawking. Little guy, maybe you heard him rap, MC Hawking. Stephen <laughs> Hawking. Anyway. Sure, but, yeah. But uh, uh, James Grime out of, uh, out of Cambridge University came to me with a math trick that totally fooled the crap out of me. It blew me away. And so we figured out a way to actually perform it for everyone simultaneously. Literally, it feels like complete mind reading and it takes place on 314. Keep an eye out for that. I'm just giving you a heads up right now. But I, uh, that's it for me. What do you got to plug, Mr. Jester Robert Young? Uh, of course, itricks.com, the only site for magic news ever invented. Uh, uh, weirdthings.com, uh, which have, every single day we have new posts uh, that go up, as well as the Weird Things podcast, which is on iTunes. And I think we had our best episode ever last week. So it would be a great time to get into the Weird Things podcast, of course, featuring me, Brian Brushwood, and Andrew Main, the genius behind uh, any and everything that I'm involved in. And uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter is uh, where you want to go to follow, um, you know, everything that we do. You don't, you don't want to plug uh, falconersglove.com? Oh, listen, I have a falconers glove on. I don't even know <laughs> how it got there. But, uh, you know, it's been hanging out. Oh, that's and I'm weird. thinking it's pretty Should badass, and there. I don't know if I'm going to ever take it off. All right, look, real quick, let's go to the internet. The entire internet, what do you guys have to plug? So far, we've got, let's see, we got Boo Jury, we got NSFW Twit, we've got Ah Pimping, and we have somebody who wrote out, it appears to be 67 digits of pi, and uh, erotic writing. <laughs> so that's that's what we got on the internet. <laughs> We've got GTFO and uh, oh my God, thank you guys so much for actually participating. This was cool. In fact, you know what we'll do is if you guys don't mind hanging around, we'll take the after party uh, elsewhere and we'll actually hang around for another hour or so afterwards. Uh, anything else, just uh, Amtrekker before we shut things down? Um, you can follow me on Twitter at, at Amtrekker and I just want to say that I am so proud to have literally helped ones of people tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we like to do here on NSFW. By the way, we are still planning huge plans for South by Southwest Interactive. We're going to yeah! have live in studio. It's going to be Amtrekker. It's going to be Justin. It's going to be Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor. And we will all be physically here in this room to actually share with you all the complete hotness that comes out of South by Southwest Interactive. Uh, what do you got for us, uh, Mr. Barack Obama? you have anything you want to say before we wrap things up? Oh, no, he doesn't talk. Oh. Got it. All right. Well, that's it for this episode. <laughs> this is not a political statement. Uh, yeah, by the way, uh, see you guys later. See you next time. Wait, wait. You don't, you don't have anything? You sound like you have something you want to say. Oh, no. I was just going to point out. I mean, it's just so silly because it's live. But uh, we're doing a, a lecture in Providence. Oh, yeah. He's in Providence, Rhode Island. So if you're listening to this, that happened last week. All right, guys. <laughs> see you in the after party. <laughs> and we'll see you next Tuesday. Love you. We helped like three people. That was kind of great. Yeah.